solving this problem, uh, what I'm going to do is the same thing. Well, this is equal to x, so it's the same thing as 1 half raised to the x is equal to 16. And normally that wouldn't work out, but we can rethink this as um, we can think that rethink this as uh, 2 raised to the negative x is equal to 2 raised to the 4. I, however you want, however works for you. Um, what, the reason I did this is because I wanted to get uh, 16 and the 1 half to have the same base. So 2 raised to the negative x, so that flips it. That, f that allows me to flip the 1 half to make it just 2. And then 2 raised to the 4th is equal to 16, but the same base. So what this does is this gives me negative x is equal to 4. Divide 3 by negative 1. And I get x is equal to negative 1. Does that work? I think it does because 1 half raised to the negative 4 is the same thing as 1 over 2 raised to the negative 4, which is the same thing as 2 raised to the 4 over 1, which is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, times another 2, which is 8, times 2 again, 16. All right, so, oh, why did I do that? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Ugh x equals negative 4. There. Now I'm going to let the video stay up for a little bit so that way when you watch it you see negative 4 for a long time. That way you know it's the answer. Okay.